Shungbe! A Shungbe! I came to the toilet in a cold country. Decided to go in the toilet into a cubicle without checking if there's any toilet paper. Come on, B. Under the trip, subscribe. Flat. Welcome back to London Drip. Today is a special. Not special. Yeah, it is a special vlog. Today is a special vlog. Today I'm flying back to the motherland. Flying back to the country where I was born. The village I'm from. From my hometown. Hometown. Today I'm going back to. And some of you are not aware, I'm from Burundi. So I'm going back to Burundi. Um, Starting my journey today. Did I mention it was today? Anyway. <clears throat> yeah, so I'm going to head to the train station to get to the train station. Get to Manchester Airport. Go London. Then I have to wait flipping 12 hours or 13 hours to get the next, the next flight. I might have it wrong. I need to double check. But yeah man, that's it, so just a little vlog, a little travel vlog obviously because I don't really vlog like that because I'm socially awkward, I'm not even socially awkward, I'm socially awkward, you get me, you heard, yeah let's go, let's go, Ooh, let's go! <laughs> Anyway, so lucky enough for me, one of my friends got back from holiday. So I'm gonna stay there for a few hours and then get back off to be doing there. Because the connecting flight was 13 hours wait, bro. I'm not doing that, mate. But lucky enough, anyway. Oi, oi. <laughs> Hello, guys. Um, just a quick update. What's going on? Tonight? Anyway, so where is it there? Imagine I go up half five in the morning. Uh, yeah, let me get out of here. So I'm stuck in London for a bit. Uh, yeah, let me get out of here. Hey, yo. Uh, yeah. I'm to the train. What time the train start? 7 a.m. What type of ball is this, bro? This, bro, I'm telling you now, the transport in London is nyash, bro. Not even a jiggly tap. It's those rigid, rigid flipping minus backs. It's disgusting, man. But anyway, so I got up off like 3,000 miles. Look at my ancestors. You get me? Yeah, man. It's going over side, isn't it? <sighs> so yeah, I'm in the Kenyan airport. Sun, sun. So yeah, I'm in the Kenyan airport. So I'm on the Kenyan airport, been here for about, well, since 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. It's hot in this country, bro, I can't lie. My head was frying there, so I took a nap. A bit better now, it's 3 a.m. Probably be sleeping, but climate change and all them things there. Serious. <laughs> Is a nightmare. No wonder no one visits this country. Um, now I'm waiting for my mother to arrive. See, she knew this was gonna happen months before. For some reason, she's still late. Like, I don't, I don't understand women. It's like 
Why is everyone got always why they always gotta be late yo? But anyway yeah. So yeah man. So the next scene in it. Probably because my auntie's wedding, that's probably why. And they man are doing photo shoot in front of me, flipping heck. What's going on here today? Not. Not bad looking, is it? And it's after 14 years, if I don't see some flowers or crying, bro, I'm getting on the on the next train, black. I'm getting on the next plane back. I'm not wasting time. Are you crazy or what? 14 years, you can't give me flowers. I'm not sorry. My photo. Take this time. I couldn't, why are you rushing? Because because mood and it's time. You still have much time. Yeah, we have time. Don't worry. Vlogging, uh, I'm not vlogging a lot, but I find the uh, Kellogg's Kellogg's uh, Indomie. <laughs> Third world countries are crazy to me, mate. Hmm. They've got Indomie. Indomie. What else? Uh, uh, I see it. This what it is crazy, man. Very crazy, you know.
Mr. Project Gumbapi in here, man. Uh, uh, uh. I need better from you, my friend. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Alrighty, guys. Eh. Hey. So on this on this vlog, I've not really recorded a lot. Cause I don't know, some, some things I just can't record, innit? Plus half the time my phone's being dead. Um, I don't know what to tell you, mate. But, it's, it's just told me a lot of things, innit? Like, in life, this thing we call life, you can cry about what you've got. You can't cry, I mean, it's, sometimes it is feasible, like, yeah, like, Life's tough and that, innit? But bro, just know someone's got it 10 times or worse. And they're still smiling. Did you get it? It's crazy, bro. But I've only got like a few days left there, so I'm gonna try to record as much of that as possible. As much of that as possible. I'm probably gonna show you some of my family members. Actually, I don't know if I wanna do that, to be honest. I like privacy. Um, but yeah. Stay happy, man. Fam, when the day I go to Turkey, yeah, someone chat to me nice. Draw something, whatever. Like, look at it like this, yeah. I seen some person, right, he's walking on the road, innit? And, like, this person, get this. He had, like, I don't know what, he was wrapped around his, his the bottom of his, of his leg, but he has no physical feet. And he was walking. And I'm just thinking that like, like yeah, my things are odd, but flipping heck. Some of just get on with it. So like, I don't know, man. If I don't, if I don't stay consistent this year, I've failed myself, really. Cause I was one step away from being that, one of these guys, one step away. If it wasn't for God's favor, bro, I, I wouldn't, I'd be in this, this hell hole of a country, flipping heck. I've been in this whole country just struggling. So yeah, man. And I'll ask my Allah says in the Quran, be grateful for what you've got and it will increase your faith. And there's a hadith to do about if you, I don't know if it's a hadith, I'm not, I don't want to say it's a hadith, but I know there's someone, some Islamic scholar said it about, um, if you feel like you're going through something bad, just know that someone's going through something worse. End of the day, life ends, sort of thing. Recognize. I'm gonna give you some advice when traveling to countries like this. Apparently, some medic medication for like for like vitamins and stuff. So like, it's a certain type of vitamins because you're you're gonna have a nutrition shift in it. So it's like you're supposed to take some sort of like tablet or whatever for your stomach to adapt to it. Take it, bro, because yesterday I spent half the day on the toilet, bro. Like I went to some person's yard and uh, I spent like, like half an hour blocks, like four times in the toilet. And then like at my auntie's house, I spent, I kid you not, two and a half hours chilling in the toilet. I nearly fell asleep. Sleeping heck. Yo, plan these stuff, bro, because boy, yo, yo, yo. I don't even drink so good. <laughs> Mm. Mm. 
Right, so you see this guy here, this is my uncle, yeah? I'm supposed to go home because it's getting dark, the lights are on. And I'm still here. So if I don't make it through past this video, you'll know why. You understand why. Okay, thank you very much guys. This is very beautiful in French. Yes. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Say hello. Hello. This is my uncle. Yeah. When I showed you a basketball, he's a basketball coach. I don't want to recruit him and pay him. It would be nice to know. After that again. And this is the house I grew up in. Ruin this crazy man. Ruin this crazy. Hello everybody, this is my little brother. Comment tu t'appelles? Quoi? Comment tu t'appelles? Comment tu t'appelles? Oui quoi? Comment tu t'appelles? Non. Non. Comment tu t'appelles? Akabai. Eh? Akabai. Comment tu t'appelles? Hmm? How much tapel? No. Hmm? No. No, what? It's no. What is it? No. How much tapel? Eh? No. We're not even in here. Eh, mo mo. Can you tell me how much tapel you need? Eh? We need three weeks. We need three weeks. We need three weeks. Yeah, so I just want to tell you what it's called. Comment tu t'appelles? Quoi? Comment tu t'appelles? Vous écoute, écoute moi, écoute moi, écoute moi. Comment tu t'appelles? Comment tu t'appelles? I saw this. I Oh, boy. So this is my uncle currently thinking I'm taking a photo of him while I'm recording And he's sat in the car park of the yard And he's still smiling like I'm taking a photo but I'm still recording the video And he understands English, well he claims to Where beach today, man? Where beach? Say hello, Brunei. Hello. And my small cousin. Oh, you don't want to know him. <laughs> Nini. Excited. Wow, man. Wow, man. Burundi. Missouri, <laughs> son. What's your favorite color? Well. 
First, I left Makodi in Burundi and left my caps. Then I transited through Nairobi and 
I was for 20 hours and then I just arrived in Amsterdam and I came to the toilet in a cold country. I decided to go in the toilet into a cubicle without checking if there's any toilet paper. Sorry. Life is an extreme sport. There is some, oh my gosh, there is some. But I need water. What is this? Oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, it's lit. While I'm here, let me spit for a little second while I'm here. Bro, the difference between the airport in Kenya and here is crazy. That's it. It's crazy. Mm. Not gonna lie, this is pretty cool, can't lie. And they even got like the extra stuff for the galley. Tell one of them sharp. And the prayer times, bro, oh, this is amazing, bro. Amazing, bro. For the Islamics, try, try pray when you're traveling, even though it's hard, isn't it? But, like, because obviously, if you make the eye, uh, when when you're traveling, most likely to put, most likely gonna get it accepted, isn't it? Sorry, I can't really speak too much. I feel like I feel I feel too cool. Nah, yeah man. Pretty cool, I can't lie. This is this is pretty 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 snazzy. This is it. I don't get it. I don't get I don't get it. Obviously, there was a prayer room in, in Kenya. But Burundi, bro, they barely had Wi Fi. Oh, I can't live like this, bro. Let me pray anyway before I start getting off track. Card kept rejecting on um, McDonald's in Amsterdam. Sold the price again, said 13 euros from McDonald's in Amsterdam. I'm so sorry, bro. I'm never doing that in my entire life. You're crazy. You're crazy or what? People are mad. Ten euros from McDonald's. You telling me what? You need to decline my card. Crazy. Mm. 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 So I was planning to move to this girl. I couldn't figure him. Planning to move to this girl. So I asked her her name. Or, or asked her her name, whatever. And then I just walked away. Seeing my food and to go back to her to get her contact details but I have no idea what her name is <laughs> if I go back at all it'll be, it'll be fantastic she's currently behind me right now if she ever watches this YouTube video that sweet, that sweet one in, in um, what's the airport called? in the Schlop, Lop, Lop airport on Thursday evening it was nice meeting you if not, life. <laughs> Isn't that awkward? Yeah, a bit awkward still. Stomach feels a bit funny now, I can't lie. Did I eat? Mm -mm. <clears throat> okay, so the update on the rat situation is basically this airport or well, this area got its name Shipple or Skipple or Skiddy Pop Pop got its name because it used to be a shipwreck area in there. Get me? And yeah, since then apparently like it's just been infested with mice and every, every store has reported it but nothing's been done about it so that's why the mouse is there and they can't seem to get rid of it through the gang, through the guilds whoa, whoa. when I grow up I need to sleep like that it's got maximum flexibility and it's comfy I love my back 
I'm just gonna make a little point now. If you're in the airport and there's people surrounding you, not everybody wants to listen to your music. Not everybody wants to watch the movie with you. So if you could be so kind and put a flipping volume down, that would be amazing. So now I'm gonna have to go over there and be like, boss, put the volume down before I get mad.